Hey Exiles, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going, guys? Alrighty, so today I thought, you know what, I want to go down to the Cursed Forest. I want to see what's up. I want to see what I can loot. But also I want to go down into some of the lower levels so I can get um, some of that clay from all the golems there and possibly get into the swamp. We'll see how we do with today's video, see if I can get down there in a, um, you know, quick manner. But... Before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to jump off my horse here and we're going to go right into it. But before we do that, make sure you guys do the right thing. Hit the like button. Make sure you do that. Very important for me. Uh, but also like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff with that out of the way. Got my basic armor as I always do, as you find in the um in the standard zones and the, things like that i'm actually liking the new little animation since the new update that your exile does if you leave him idle or her idle for too long i think they actually do that in map here oh, sorry um in zone here they just sort of stand there and all of a sudden they did that little um motion that you just saw before so as you can see now if you take a look at him he's just you know uh, just standing around waiting for you to, you know, move him or her about, whatever that, um, which character that you've set up. But, as you can see, I've got the basic needs for everything that I need to do with the, uh, with the zone. But, I'm missing one critical element. <laughs> I need a weapon. So, let's have a look at the weapon that I'm going to choose to use today in, in my vault. Now, um, I actually got contacted out of the blue just recently from my good friend, Ranger Muir. Now, I haven't mentioned his name for a little while now on the channel. Now, he's our community ca uh, manager for Saga of Survival, but uh, with the newer game that um, uh, Plarium have uh, released, which is Rage, uh, sorry, Rage, Raid Shadow Legends. Can't talk today. Anyway, so Raid Shadow Legends. So brand new game. I've actually just started playing that on my channel as well. If you want to check that out. Oh, hello. Um, why did you come out of nowhere? Anyway, I am just going to crouch here for now, so I don't get bothered. But yeah, so if you guys want to check out Raid, it's a really good game. If you guys are into the RPG mode and you want to, you know, go in and upgrade, um, you know, your players, things like that, acquire new weaponry and things like that. If you're into that sort of RPG style game, definitely want to go ahead and check that out, give a bit of a shake. Anyway, um, yeah, so we had a bit of a conversation, you know, I talked about what he was doing, what, um, what I'm doing with my channel and things like that. And, you know, obviously apologize for not being around and given the reasons why to, you know, as I've mentioned to you guys. So yeah, with that being said, he actually left me a little gift um in my vault so we're going to go ahead and check that out now so where is it there it is and i've got them side by side which is a good thing as well so um i actually recovered my elemental magician staff through my raid that i uh, that i got about a couple of weeks ago so i didn't want to lose that because it's an item that you can't craft so if you look at that the damage and all that sort of stuff you've got that there but i was given a purple variant of that and nearly well not essentially double the damage but quite a an uplift of damage as well so we are going going to go ahead and claim that bad boy and this will give us all the specs that we need to know so we've got over 760 attacks that we can utilize off this uh brilliant staff um damage is plus 95 so i think it's over 100 damage 60 wall damage so and you've got 121 i don't know what that means i think that might be for your sneak ability i'm not too sure and um the attack speed is um 0.2 hearing is plus 150 on the red scale which is no good but yeah so we're going to give this guy a bit of a hiding now since he decided to come out of nowhere and try to attack me. So even if I just, yeah, I can one hit these guys and I can let them all come at me without a problem. So that's, yeah, pretty amazing. No problem whatsoever. So I think I might even get through this zone a little bit quickly today. And it doesn't take too long to run through the animation to make his hit. 
uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain to try to actually uh, repair the stuff. That's going to be the, the more annoying thing, I would imagine. And he's even taking out Dark Undead one hits. So, yeah. Yeah, so actually, you know what? I'm probably going to need some of these as well. So this is probably going to be like a general purpose run for me today. Look at that, 142 on the critical side. That's amazing. Actually, I don't want that, but I want that. Yeah, so I'm just obliterating these guys. Not too worried about the keys nowadays. I've got so much keys, I don't know, I don't even know what to do with them. I mean, I don't need the horse now. I've already got the horse. What I'm thinking, possibly in future updates, it's probably not the best thing to do it right away um, or you know, leave it for so long. Oop, there's a bone breaker. I better heal because I've got so many oop, enemies after me now. Okay, so let's us just recuperate for a second. Yeah, let's do a sneak attack on you. Nice. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Um, whoop, where'd you come from? And I'm gonna grab some of these as well because I'm actually out of cheesecloth and the uh, the glands. I think they are. So we're gonna grab those as well. And as I said, we're just gonna smash through this zone, which I don't think it's gonna to take too long. Let's just go ahead and redeem some of these. We are in the middle of the XP challenge, but um, I'm not in the participation um, uh, status of this yet. So, so whatever XP is going to go to the clan, um, and I've, I've touched on the clan a little while back as well. So um, my thoughts are still there about going through the clan again, and you know, uh, you know, rebooting it. I guess I think that's probably the right word to sort of say. Um, I do need to do a major overhaul first off, but also, yeah, uh, reboot the actual clan once more. Some guys are stuck by me, um, which I'm thankful for, you know, so otherwise, um, yeah, look, uh, watch this space, I guess. This is probably going to be the way it's going to go soon. We're going to probably hopefully get back into it, but we'll see how we go. Problem is, it's the whole commitment factor for me as well, uh, more... Also with, um, you know, um, other game commitments and obviously work life, things like that. Just sort of trying to, you know, um, manage it, I guess, in a sense. You know, I was able to do it for a little while and then, you know, it just sort of got a little bit harder as sort of time went on with the whole, um, you know, looking after everyone and then, you know, focusing on it on, a, on an exclusive basis, I guess, which is fair to say. So, yeah, look, hopefully... I'll get to a point where I can sort of remanage it properly and sort of dive back into it and be a lot more consistent with it. And that uh, that's going to be my end goal with it. I'll talk about it, but, um, you know, implementing is another, you know, um, it's, it's, it's another strain. So, yeah, hopefully soon that might become a reality, but we'll see how we go with that. It's all in time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, oop, I don't know why I missed you, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. And, and so far, I'm down to 718 from, I think it was 760, I believe it was. So yeah, that's not bad going, to be honest. Done pretty well with that. Want to get down into the lower levels, into, um, you know, uh, into the swamp as well and take out all those heavy hitters that we've got down there. So I'll eventually get down there soon. Um, what I might do as well before, before I head down there, I think I might make a drop chest or nominate a drop chest for myself. I think that might be the best way to go. Okay, so that's where the lower levels are. So I'm just going to clear everybody out first. I want to get all the I want to hit all the chests beforehand. Okay, I'm not too interested in those. Interested in what you drop for me. Thank you very much. 
Okay, give me those cheesecloth and those glands, please. Oop. Well, that critical after critical, I'm loving it. Does 89 damage as well. And this will be the ultimate um, wall breakdown as well. I guess for that matter as well, any anything purple star related, you guys are gonna have that ability to, you know, absolutely demolish anything for you know for a good while as well. Um, okay, so I think if I hover around here, there should be another bone breaker up here somewhere as well, actually. You should be situated around here. There you are. Hello. I'll let you hit me once. And I want to see how many times on the sneak attack I can bring this guy down. So that's one. That's two. And it's probably going to hit three times. And you are out. Okay, let's go ahead and eat. Take them. And we'll take you out anyway, so I'm not disturbed. All right, so... Now, there hasn't been any sort of murmurs about updates or anything like that yet, guys. So, to be honest, this is probably going to be the first time that I don't officially know anything that's coming out or nothing's been made or suggested to me just yet. A uh, bit of a concern. So I haven't actually looked on the, the Facebook page for a little bit now. So uh, at the time of this recording, I haven't got any info to provide to you guys, which, yeah. Um, at this moment, we do I don't know exactly what's coming along. I did get a recent copy of the development roadmap, which hasn't changed from the last time that everyone has potentially seen it. Um, so I'm hoping there's going to be more to do with clans moving forward. And I think what is in the works hasn't been implemented yet, whether or not they're still testing it or anything like that. But hoping, and this goes back to my clan issue that I've had so far, is hopefully we're going to be able to have the ability to enable a second in charge uh, to our respected clan if, we, if you guys are a clan leader. So hopefully that would be um, something that's going to come along shortly. Hasn't been mentioned exactly extensively or anything like that, but I, I had been in contact with a couple of moderators through the Discord as well. And I sort of asked a question to see, you know, if there's going to be anything like that happening moving forward. And from the suggestions um, that had been noted to me, um, that there's going to be a potential that might be apparent f uh, moving forward. But... Um, it's not always set in stone, so that's something that we sort of got to be mindful of as well at the same time, guys. Um, you know, we all, always got to take things like that with a grain of salt, and we sort of can't, you know, um, pitch our hopes on it exactly. Oop, no, I'm not going to be able to hide from you. So, with this, you can actually definitely two hit these guys if you run away further enough. Um, so, I was sort of trying to illustrate that. And let's go hit you once, and okay, and perfect. So it's actually got a great um, reachability as well. So if you guys, you guys don't have to run too far to get away from them, but also you don't have to get up too close and personal with them to try and get an attack off them, which I find that's a really good thing. So yeah, an awesome, awesome staff. So. Again, I thank Ranger Muir for the gift. Uh, much appreciated. Now, I hope he, I'm sure he does watch a lot of my videos as well. So, I've seen him comment a few times from time to time. So, if you are watching this, thank you so much, my friend. And let's just. Oop. And have to be a three hitter for that one. Not going to be bothering too much with the shrine keys. I mean, so far they're still dropping the same thing, which are pretty much um, stable items for your horse if you haven't gotten it already. And that sort of, once this update sort of came out, it gave the gateway for a lot of us to fast track our way to get a lot more um, stable items to complete. Oh, nice. That's, that's an awesome drop. 
Oh, totally worth it coming down here today. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so when the update did drop down, um, the accessibility to get the, uh, the horse became a lot more easier for us to do. Uh, as opposed to running the dungeons, um, you know, for quite some time until we got enough for, you know, to unlock the horse. And I had to do that myself. Um, and you guys know, if you've been watching me for, you know, for a, a long time, how long it took me to get my horse and the amount of runs I did in the dungeon. And, oh, yeah, the, let's not go there. <laughs> you guys know, if you guys are veterans on my channel, you guys know very well. Anyway. The, the accessibility now to get more, um, to get those shrine keys to unlock the chests in the swab. If you guys are able to get down there and take out the, um, the harder enemies of that, um, of the, the third level, then you guys have got a greater chance to, um, hopefully fast track your horse and get your horse a lot sooner. Um, as I said, as soon as they up, uh, implemented the new update, and I mentioned this in, a, um, in an older video, but once Elm became a thing, it sort of brought the game completion, as in the end game, to about around, I think, level 50 from um, the information that was given to me. So, you know, as the game sort of progresses and moves on and sort of, you know, um, we get newer... Uh, you know implementations and things like that and your features and additions all that sort of stuff um, okay that's up there and beautiful uh, yeah so you know for a lot of end game users you know a, a lot of things did get you know tweaked to a point and I know a lot of people are now sort of pining over ores and the um, so uh, meteorite or the bar that I just actually got here uh, through today so you know it's a lot a lot harder to come by I completely get where a lot of people are coming from with that but again this is just something else where you know we sort of can't have it both ways I guess you know other things obviously need to come out to sort of either make sense or depending on what the developers uh, have thoughts and views are to you know hold back on the game in terms of um, progression for for players so i think that's just an important thing to note at this point as well so that's the only reason why i sort of brought it up and you know i, I know where a lot of people are coming from a lot of you play this game much more than what i do and a lot more exclusively than what i do don't get me wrong, I do play this game a lot more than what I do with my other games, but um, it sort of comes to a point where, you know, there's um, a, a peak that's met and to sort of get further into the game, you know, the, the grind is a lot more um, uh, present than, you know, than whether it be casual players or nice um, than other players in between, so yeah, I mean, look, it is what it is, guys, but, whoop, run, 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 nice, got him on the critical, and what's that, that's nearly, that's 51 pieces, so good going so far, we're nearly into the swamp zone as well, I just want to smash out a few of the guys as well, so, not too sure how long I want to spend on the video, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully, I'd, I think I'm pretty much done with this as well. Ooh, rare loot drops keep on giving. Thank you so much. And also, you know, as, as you guys know as well, I've disabled PvP, and I think I've mentioned that before in a previous video, uh, for obvious reasons for now. So it's just a rework for myself just to... Uh, pretty much, um, I'm going to have enough for this, you know what, I might not, I might not, okay, ooh, what do I want to do, what do I want to do, I think I want to go to topside, real quick, I'll drop off some of the stuff that I do not need down there, oop, and, you know, of course, you take the wrong turn. There we go. 
And I know I filled up that little chest before, so I'm just going to go ahead and find the closest chest uh, to that one there. Or do I just find the closest uh, enemy? So I definitely don't need that. I'm going to keep these on my persons. And I'll get rid of some of that as well. Okay. And I'll, yeah, okay, why not? We'll just get rid of that. Anyway. We'll jump back in. We'll go down to the bottom. Easy, easy. All good. Yeah, so guys. Um, now for a little while now they've been on a new update release cycle so basically their full month to 45 day upgrade cycles now I think in some cases that I may have seen or read that the update cycle could take nearly 60 days now this is just a lot for them to you know um, implement newer things into the game I think they're getting to a point now they want to get onto a more of a higher level um, in terms of quality and upgrades and things like that, which is fine. Um, okay, let me just deal with this real quick before I die. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to sort of fo refocus your energy onto the game and just make sure that you're not going to die. So let's get back into it. But yeah, what I was saying, so update cycles, there was a lot of frequent updates, uh, you know, when the, when the game first came out and the amount that we were given, you know, every single, you know, well, it was pretty much every month that we were getting updates. I think at one point it was a little bit sooner than that in some cases, depending on the update itself. Um, no, I don't need any of that. Okay, don't need that. Just gonna whiz around here and open that up. So yeah, so you know, with the mention of quality updates, these are my words, not you know, not the developers or anything like that. A lot of people have their own perception on you know what they see as a good update or a bad update. So that's always up for uh, debate. And you know, my interpretation is obviously a lot different to other people's interpretation of the game, depending on your play status where you guys are oops where you guys are at with your own levels and things like that so you know it's not always relative to that okay i want to deal with and i'm actually making light work of the undead overlord which is yeah awesome oops so i'm just gonna hang here for two seconds and let's get back into it Okay. Perfect. And I might just take that. Yeah, so again, as I said, guys, all comes down to you how you guys want to perceive it. But for me, like I said, I'm, I'm happy with the progression and the updates that are coming. Uh, yes, I don't agree with everything. Oh, well, that shouldn't have happened. All right, guys, here we are back. And yeah, finally got my uh, my thing out back, my new satchel, because I know I lost that. And I did lose the horse saddle pouches as well, which I had to rectify and fix. So we are good to go again. And let's just deal with this bone breaker before it comes back to me. Yes, you, pain. Thank you very much. Anyway, so completely forgot what I was going to talk about but look like I said all in all guys about the whole update thing when it comes it comes I'm just hoping you know some of the new uh, features that we want or some of the things that we do want will get attention with the future updates and the best way you guys can sort of have your voice and say about that is definitely jump onto the discord page and make your voices heard with all that being said and um, do that in, in a constructive way, which is always recommended for you guys, uh, from me to you. If you guys really want to sort of, you know, have certain updates uh, implemented into the game. But you guys, you know, you guys want to make sure that you, 
it's sort of like you know getting what you want but also are doing it in a in the right manner and i think that's i've been saying that for the longest time now as well especially when the whole rating update came about and hopefully you know on that i will get back into rating as i said before so again it's just going to take me a little bit of time to build my um my defense back up again and to confidently go back into it i think that's probably going to be something that i'll be looking in towards the future when that oops, sort of happens and yeah that's basically it with that one there but otherwise we are going to finish off this um swamp here and hopefully you know we'll get that done pretty soon yes it's been a bit of a, a longer video with this one today but you know I haven't done a long video with this for a little while now, so you know what, I think I was probably due for one anyway, so hopefully you guys have stuck around for, um, you know, for me with that, and I'd be really much appreciative if you guys have, but also hit the like button guys whilst you're doing that, if you guys have made it up this, uh, you know, up until this point, be very much well appreciated, comment down below, uh, let me know what you think about the whole game as a whole. Um, Ow, I guess I'm sort of getting hammered here by a mosquito bath's adventure, whatever it is, anyway. Oop. And a few of you guys here uh, trying to make yourselves known, but yeah, leave me be, guys. Leave me be. Stop picking those up. I want interesting things, not basic things um okay so look you know what i'm not gonna even bother trying to reduce the curse it's gonna leave it be you guys can pretty much come at me with all you got i mean this staff here is amazing i'm just gonna grab that and actually should have grabbed that in the first place anyway so th this should be the last elm tree that i need okay and actually, you know what? I was pretty okay with not getting raided with all of my elm as well. I mean, that would have been a bit of a pain for me just to come back down here, waste resources just to, you know, uh, rebuild my stockpile. Because I do have a bit of a stockpile as well back at home. Uh, don't need any of that. I'm just going to grab the chests that I can grab and then that's it. I think we're done here today. So, a few more seconds on this one, but yeah, let me know what you think about this elemental staff as well. A ripper of a weapon. And especially being a purple star as well, it's just all the better. Actually, I want to grab some of that. Yes, I have been quietly um, getting those um, these spirits here as well, because you do need them for certain challenges as well. If you want to um, create the herbal satchels uh, or the satchel bags, if you want to use that on your as your main source of healing. But otherwise, otherwise, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, and probably had a laugh at my expense of me dying in the swamp. It does happen to everyone. So, you know, obviously no one is immune to it. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, all that sort of good stuff. Anyway, guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.